carries on playing like this, we might have a few more opportunities. Completely. I bet the other players are watching. Keeping a close eye on the Frenchman's uh, Gaultier leads one progress. game to Love. Love off. Down. Hand out. One Love. Let's see if Shabana can respond here and pick himself up from a bit of a, bit of a beating in the last game. Shabana looking at his racket there like it was a miss hit, but see it again. It looked like he was going to do it. And now, and there's one, just two. some fantastic wick. Catching the net on the cross court. It's let. One, two left. I'm sure he's not going to be very happy about that. 3 1. Well, this is the response all the squash purists would want to see, particularly the neutrals. And there it is, that front left hand corner for Thomas Shabana. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you've played him, it is so hard to read if he's going to go straight or cross court. Fantastic technique. Down. As I say and that, out. comes in from a very flat racket and just Two pops four. it in the tin. The thing I love about Shabana's follow, uh, technique is his follow through. It's very guided. It's let. Two four left. Yeah, it's interesting with his tape back. It's usually classic on both sides, but he can quirk it. He can. Mm changes take back just to deceive but the end product of the actual impact and follow through is always the same Damn. Oh. missed two of them now yeah three four so Gaultier back in the frame here at three four quick five points seven points we've had Charlie in only a couple of minutes in this second game so it's not a, a long affair both players haven't been on court too long either, so fairly fresh. Down. Get him out of position there. And now. Gaultier electing to use the same Five, tactic three. as the first game, coming in, straight dropping. Shabana wouldn't have got that if it had gone above the tin. Hitting very flat on that forehand around the middle. Oh, Gaultier too quick on that post. And now, four five. <laughs> I, think, I think Gaultier actually hitting Cabana on the arm there. Skied that, Five all. pointing to the opposite corner. He's trying to play this cross court. Five he all he from the taken right. it straight down the line as he points. Well, there's the uh, deception from Gaultier again. It was a rash shot, Six really. Shabana does hit Nicks off the serve at will, but he's not finding that yet here.
better play by Shabana. Bit more patient, straighter hitting. So I say that he pops it cross court and loses the rally. Seven five. It's frustrating times for the maestro. Gaultier giving no quarter. Great shot. Slut. Seven five right. Thought he might have had a review on that, but uh, going with the the let ball. So there's not a huge amount Gaultier can't get back. It's tight. I'm actually uh, slightly perspiring next door to you here in the, in the commentary booth. I think it's just this match, Joey. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, it's, it's pretty hot. It's been a nice day here. Gregory Gaultier make hardly an unforced error so far. No, one of the front forehand in this game, but I can't remember any others. That's no. going to be a let ball. I think his string went there. Yes, let. Yeah, that's a good decision. Yeah, I know he broke his string. That was very naughty. That was naughty. Because you should have hit that. In my book, that's a no let. Yeah, it is a no let, and you're right. I think that's a good decision. His string's gone. The ball here could have played that easily, so it's either a stroke or a no let. I think Shabana should review that. He could do, yeah. But he can't now, it's too late. But that's a very sharp, Charlie. Good stuff. But I think that would be a no let because he's it's kind of like a professional foul in mm. equivalent to football soccer saying it out here where it's an intentional scenario. Gaultier's string's broken, so players sometimes look for the other player to get a let ball or a scenario where they can stop yes, because they can't hit the ball as well. Seven five. But in that right instance, side. he had the whole front wall to hit. Yeah. Very streetwise there. Very, very streetwise. It's maybe what some of the young Americans out here can learn. <laughs> Being a bit streetwise around the squash court. Seven five. Gaultier. Oh. 8-5. He's got to review that, I feel. 8 Gaultier five, with the five. tap on the bum and the rub on the head <laughs> to make you feel even better about yourself losing a... Yeah, it's a stroke. Yeah, he's all over that like a rash. It's been quite a rash this week, hasn't he? He's been all over everything. Yeah. Nine five. Gaultier acknowledging that again. Real frustration from Shabana. The crowd quite silent here because of the Frenchman's uh, control. Just can't quite find his range. He's not really being allowed to find his range, Shabana. And there's another unforced error. Ten five. So he'll be looking to seriously regroup. He's got one last bite of the cherry in this final. Five game balls for Gaultier. This has been pretty perfect squash here from Gaultier. Well, that's outrageous physicality from Gaultier, the movement, the strength, the recovery work. We're seeing it all from the Frenchman so far in this final. Just nine minutes for the second. We've had 21 minutes in total so far. Gaultier takes that second 11-5. He now moves to a two-game-to-love lead.